Hi my friends, how are you doing? I hope you guys are alright and uh, doing great. So guys, in this vlog, I'm gonna speak about one issue which, uh, a serious issue which happened with one of my friend. Uh, as you as you guys already know that we get this license, the private hire driver license through TFL if we want to work in or around London, yeah. And uh, the jobs we do, we work for the companies such as uh, I work for Uber and Bolt but uh, with one of my friend one serious issue has happened uh, he got the email from tfl that uh, uh, tfl need explanation about the complaints which are being made against him uh, through the bolt customers so uh, before starting the vlog i'll put a disclaimer here the information uh, which i share with my uh, audience is about spreading the positive uh, message and spreading the positive information which my audience will have it and they will get the benefit out of it yeah but i am not making the vlogs or i'm not sharing the information which uh, actually is uh, you know damaging the re reputation of any company uh, such as any company like bolt or uber i mainly work for bolt and uber and most of my jobs are with uber but i'm let's say working uh, less jobs or i'm doing the less jobs with with bolt yeah like 80 percent i'm working with uber and 20 percent jobs nearly i'm doing with bolt so sometimes what happened one company is uh, keeping me busy and uh, sometimes the other company is keeping me busy so it depends on the situation whenever I take the i take the rides yeah so what has happened uh, my very close friend he got the email uh, from tfl that uh, tfl need the explanation that uh, uh, the, the complaints which are made against my friend through the bold customer so what had happened customer uh, complaint uh, customer sent the complaint to bolt and bolt collected these complaints and forwarded to tfl okay now tfl is a, taking action against my friend right so it's very important vlog for the people for the drivers uh, who are who are doing the jobs with bolt so better be careful and uh, what so i'll explain it to you what complaints were made and anyway just have a look over here this is the you know the screenshot or this is the um, you know the uh, message which was sent from a friend yeah and uh, let's say if ball team needed any evidence any proof i can even forward the email which my friend uh, you know received through tfl yeah so just to keep myself clear about it yeah so guys in 2021 with uh, on 12th of february 2021 complaint was made against my friend and this complaint was about driver uh, took you know the longer route and uh, this resulted in overcharge and uh, on 8th of april similar thing passenger reported the longer e eta eta means estimated time of travel was longer so means uh, the customer was late from wherever you know he had to reach yeah and on 18th of april uh the customer complained that journey didn't happen why journey didn't happen because i tell you what sometime driver is at exactly at the uh, you know the uh, pickup location but uh, from him side from driver side he's at the pickup location but the customer is sometime not at uh, the same road he could be at the opposite side of the road so with bolt software the issue is which i feel is that whenever the bolt send the location and let's say if, if a customer order the order place a order from his home and uh, bolt picks exactly same location of home but uh, the location which it sends two ways it is of opposite road yeah so sometimes drivers don't communicate with the customer and uh, they don't uh, tell the customer that uh, uh, i mean the drivers don't bother to ask the uh, you know the passenger that where exactly the road name is and uh, after spending like six minutes uh, two minutes is the wait time and four minutes after the you know the driver can cancel the ride and can get paid for the uh, still four pound something you know can get paid yeah for the cancellation fee and this sort of customer who gets charged like four pound or something is feel so annoyed and they complained uh, against the driver to bolt and they make it uh, you know a very serious issue 
so after uh, so best thing is like uh, i can advise my audience that the best thing to do is to communicate the passenger that what is the road exactly the road name where the uh, customer is yeah and then the custom, uh, the driver let's say drive like half mile or something like that to pick up the customer yeah from from the exact road where the passenger is yeah so anyway so the next uh, complaint was against was made against my friend was on 23 of april 2021 so a driver was at wrong pickup this, this is the complaint yeah same i mean the answer is the same which i already have told you guys so on 26th of may driver did not end journey at exactly uh, you know at the pick at the drop off location so driver let's say went further ahead and uh, kept the learn journey longer 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 and ended uh, later so that uh, you know the driver gets paid uh, extra money because of this extra mileage yeah and didn't end the journey at the drop off location yeah and uh, right so 13th of june uh, the complaint was made that driver at wrong pickup okay same thing like driver could be at the opposite road yeah on 22 of august driver wasn't uh, moving to them and uh, means that the customer had to walk towards the customer uh, uh, sorry the customer had to walk towards the vehicle of the driver and to get into the car maybe they had to walk couple of steps and uh, and the customer felt annoyed about it anyway so uh, the next okay these were the complaints made in 2021 and uh, further ahead is uh, tfl is asking for about the low ratings which driver got which was on on 5 5 of february 2021 driver choose wrong way to take to make a payment higher means driver took the longer journey hi guys welcome to the day time so uh, in the same year in 2021 my friend got two low ratings according to bold and uh, the first low rating already explained that was on 5 of february 2021 the second low rating which my friend got was on 30 10 2021 here yeah? and on on 30th of october uh, he denied the uh, you know he denied the passenger to sit next to him so he didn't allow Uh, nobody to sit next to the driver seat because of this covid restrictions yeah so my friend uh, uh, insisted on the people you know three people got in the back of the seat but uh, maybe one of them was uh, willing to sit in the front and my friend denied about it and uh, they give the low rating because of this so these two low ratings explanation tfl is seeking about i i think so that in 2021 maybe there were covid restrictions to be honest i'm not maybe the covid restrictions were lifted or not i i'm not 100% sure but still this is the low rating reason uh, for uh, of my friend yeah and uh, <clears throat> right so all the things explained that why the complaints were made against him and why the low ratings were given against my friend yeah so what had bold done bold had collected or compiled all these things and forwarded these complaints and the low rating reasons to uh, tfl yeah so it happened in 2021 but my friend just recently like a week ago got these uh, you know the reasons or got these uh, in got the email from tfl to explain about all these things yeah and his uh, you know the private hire driver license is on stake so something happening in 2021 and you are you have to reply in 2023 it doesn't make a big big sense yeah so what i think that there was a lack of communication uh, let's say uh, in my opinion if uh, if you are about to pick up a customer and uh, you don't find the customer let's ring them or let's ask them where exactly they are and uh, Uh, and reach to that exact road or the address or the place wherever the customer is try to reach near that and pick up the customer okay because sometimes the location uh, which bolt has is different and which it which it passes to ways is different so communication is the key yeah so because most of the complaints i think against uh, which are made against my friend are about uh, pick up problem like 
uh, he was the, like he was already there at the pickup point customer was not there or customer was at opposite road and uh, still obviously when driver waits and driver can even get paid you know for this waiting uh, waiting time yeah so so that's why you know the people were making complaint against him most of the time and uh, so let's communicate with customer and try reaching the customer where exactly they are so that there is no complaint against the driver and uh, third second thing is use the ways software very properly because what happen when it is short journey let's say two three mile journey is not a problem like ways give you any road you go ahead with that is not a problem but when it is five six mile to even uh, 10 mile even more miles than that then you have to analyze that well, how to use the ways software because what you have to do when the journey starts you go to the ways software routes option in the routes option you can find out that there are the chances that you can minimize the uh, the mileage yeah so let's say if, if one journey is taking 10 miles which bolt has chosen for you you can select the one which is taking 7 mile or 8 mile it's possible yeah and that's how you can save 2 3 miles and uh, and you you take the short route short possible route okay and that's how you can avoid getting uh, you know the customer complaints against you through bolt so it's a it's a better solution to the longer journeys that you choose the route which is taking the less mileage and uh, sometimes what happens uh, i'll take the same scenario that you are covering the 10 mile of the journey and uh, when you see that 7 8 mile journey is taking very long to take means there is more traffic through through that route so in this case you should tell the customer that if you will choose to go uh, through the 7 8 mile of journey instead of 10 10 mile it will be taking extra 15 minute 20 minute let's say or even half an hour so uh, do you think it's, it's better we go through this 10 mile journey so ask take the permission from customer and then finish the journey so that's how you communicate also with your customer and give them the option what to do and uh, uh, most of time customer agree you know like they want to also save their time they want to be home quick they want to be at the workplace uh, in the in the best possible time yeah so that's how i think you you should communicate with customer also and uh, uh, during the journey is much is more more better yeah and uh, another thing is keep a, keep an eye over your rating customer i mean sometimes customer are leaving the low rating with bold in you will come to to now instantly let's say you finish the journey in the next journey you can see that what is your i mean uh, within two three journeys you can even keep an eye over your uh, driver rating sometimes customer are leaving uh, the low rating and immediately you should uh, call in your call in your mind that what exactly uh, maybe you have done wrong and customer has uh, you know left a low rating so you should judge by yourself that how how, how it it would have happened yeah and uh, next time be careful yeah that's how i think uh, you guys can do or like i should also do <laughs> guys thank you so much for listening to me now i'll speak to you in another vlog until the next time bye bye